Aloha! So before I get to the word, if you can please like this video, hit the thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, hit the little bell. That would be awesome. Not for my sake, definitely not for my sake because I'm not in this for the subscribers. I am in this because Jesus told me to do this. <laughs> That's the only reason. So thank you for participating in Foreman Ministry. We are forming ministry, Foreman Ministry. Get it? Good. Awesome. Okay, let's get to the word. So last time we talked about walking, this time we're gonna talk about running. And I don't necessarily have like a profound definition. We're just gonna let the Holy Spirit have his way this time, if that's cool. And running implies an intentionality. And so if you are a mature Christian, yes, there are times in our lives that's totally fine that walking is literally all we can do. We, it's just one foot in front of the other and we're just walking, walking with Jesus. But if we're mature Christians, we want to start to run. And the Lord showed me that it's not necessarily what we're running from, it's what we're running to. And really quick, Proverbs 28.1 says that the wicked run when no one is chasing them. So we don't want our running to just be nonsensical. It's about the intentionality of the run. It's not necessarily what we're running from. The wicked run when no one is chasing them. They're running away from something. But if we run towards something, we're gonna talk about what Paul says about running towards something here in a sec. First, I wanna talk about Isaiah 40. I'm gonna read verses 29 to 31 from the New King James Version. It says, he gives power to the weak. This is talking about God. And to those who have no might, he increases strength. Even the youths shall faint and be weary. And the young men shall utterly fall. But those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Praise God. So when we are, like we talked about last time, when we live by the Spirit, let us also keep in step with the Spirit. So we're keeping in step with the Spirit and running with him, running toward Jesus. Whenever we have a problem, instead of running away from the problem, let's run toward the solution. Let's do that. I mean, we it's so easy to get wrapped up in that pessimistic mindset, right? And to just be like, oh, I gotta run away from this thing. Yes, we do have to run away from things sometimes, but let's run toward the guy who has all the answers, the guy who is all of the answers. And Really quickly, I won't have time to read all of it, but I love this passage. Good old Paul in Philippians, Philippians 3, 12 to 16. I'm reading from the Amplified. Paul says, Not that I have already obtained it, this goal of being Christ-like, or have already been made perfect, but I actively press on so I may take a hold of that perfection for which Christ Jesus took hold of me and made me his own. Brothers and sisters, I do not consider that I have made it my own yet, but one thing I do, forgetting what lies behind and reaching forward to what lies ahead, I press on toward the goal to win the heavenly prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. All of us who are mature, pursuing spiritual perfection should have this attitude. And if in any respect you have a different attitude, that too, God will make clear to you, only let us stay true to what we have already attained. So yes, please walk one foot in front of the other. Walk, walk with the spirit, keep in step with the spirit, stay plugged into the Holy Spirit, have a relationship with him, but let's run. Let's go, let's keep our eternal focus, our eyes fixed on the things above, not on the earthly things. And that's the reality that we wanna live in so that we're continually running toward the guy who holds all the answers, the solution to every problem, the one who has everything in place. So we press on. Even if we aren't made completely perfect in this life, it's to come, it's to come. So let's press into the Lord. Let's run toward him today. Love you with the Jesus love. <laughs>